done by a controversial split decision. A lot of people do not agree with this. On social media, it seemed like most people agree that the fight should have either been a draw or Piotr Jan should have won the fight if there was no 10-8 round. And then there's a few people who believe that Sterling did deserve the win. Let's end the debate. Let's break it all down. Who really won that controversial bantamweight championship fight between Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan? Every round besides the first was agreed on. Third round went to Aljamain Sterling. Fourth and fifth went to Piotr Jan. Second round went to Aljamain Sterling. But there's an argument as to was it a 10-8 round or was it a 10-9 round? But we're going to be looking at the first round as the round that was up in the air to determine who really won this fight. And as we know from the judging criteria regarding effective striking, damage trumps all. For effective grappling, it's the closer you get to finishing off the fight or having a dominant performance over your opponent. This means submissions, transitions, damage with ground and pound, takedowns and all that stuff. The further it contributes to a finish, the more it will be scored as effective grappling. And to get the most accurate judging, we're going to be categorizing every single strike in accordance to damage. Let's get right into it, man. So beginning the first round, Aljamain Sterling lands a body kick that gets partially blocked, but definitely does land. A leg kick from Sterling. Then Sterling whips up another body kick, but not much power in this one. All he's really doing at this point is touching and moving, filling out the fight. Doesn't want to do anything too crazy in the beginning. Then Sterling taps Jan with a front kick. Not much power in it. By the time we get almost halfway into the round, Jan finally lands his first strike. And it's a bigger strike than anything that's landed so far. He fakes the left hook and throws the body kick. Gets a big reaction out of Aljamain. Sterling blasts him right into the cage. This one we're going to count as a heavy attack. Sterling throws a long left uppercut, but it looks like it doesn't land. Goes right under the chin. It may have grazed. If it did land, it's definitely a light attack. We'll come back to it if we have to. Thrust kick by Sterling, but gets caught as well. Jan lands a leg kick. Then he hops in and lands a jab, pushing Sterling backwards. Gets a big reaction out of him. Big check from Jan. Now, similar to that Sterling uppercut, Jan throws a left straight, but it's really hard to tell from the camera angle if it does connect at all. If there is a connection, it would definitely be a light attack, but we'll come back to it if we have to. Jab from Sterling. Then Jan lands another medium attack, an overhand left over Sterling's shoulder, which backs him up a little bit. Another touching front kick from Sterling. Just touches right at the end of it. Then we get to Eljamain Sterling's heavy attack in this round. Lands an elbow on the top of the head of Jan that gets a big reaction out of him. This Sterling lands three pawing strikes, maybe like 10% power on all of them. Slight right hook over the top, then to the body, and then a jab. And then at the end of the round, Piotrion lands a winging left hook that catches Sterling. And Sterling's throwing a right overhand of his own, but he gets deflected off the back and shoulder of Jan, but still grazes him. We'll count that as a light attack. That is the end of the first round. So by tallying up all the strikes, Aljami Sterling landed 13 total, 8 light, 4 medium, 1 heavy. As for Piotr Jan, he really didn't have any kind of output in this round. 0 light, 4 medium, and 2 heavy. Because most of the strikes in this round were not that impactful, that's why there are a lot of mediums and some heavies, nothing really looked like it was contributing to a finish. The elbow was pretty nice, the body kick was pretty nice, the jab was pretty nice, but ultimately nothing was crazy about the round that was super impactful. And because of that, the cumulative impact of the round is definitely going to matter a little bit more because there's nothing big about the immediate impactful strikes. It does make the round pretty hard to score considering how the rules are written out. Immediate is going to trump over cumulative. The vast majority of Eljamain Sterling strikes had no impact. A lot of just touching shots that got no reaction out of Jan. Then there were some of the body kicks that were kind of decent. The elbow from Sterling was the main one. But does that trump what Jan was able to do with his body kick and his jab? It's really tough to look at because the medium shots pretty much cancel each other out. Forget there's any medium attack here. Now we're looking at the light and heavies. This is how you have to weigh this. Are those eight light strikes from Sterling more impactful than the jab or the body kick that Jan landed? That's the question now. Imagine combining all of those eight light strikes from Sterling. Would that be more damaging than the jab or the body kick from Piotr Jan? Man, it's really tough to judge. If the rules were written better, I would have scored this round a draw. After looking back at all the light strikes from Sterling and comparing that to the jab from Jan, I would have to conclude ever so slightly because of how the rule set is written, Aljamain Sterling wins the first round. Just because the jab wasn't super damaging. If that jab had the kind of impact of some of Hamza Shemaya strikes landing on Gilbert Burns, then we have another argument and Piotrion would definitely win this first round. But the fact that it wasn't that damaging, it just had a bit of a reaction like push Sterling back. We're going to have to give Aljamain Sterling this first round, ultimately making him the rightful winner of this fight with Piotrion. He got revenge, 
shut up a lot of the doubters and make